Hi, Kali. Hi, Kali. Hi, Hi, Kali. Get in, get in, get in, Hi. Broward Country. Hi, Mama. Got a little Miss Kylie out here today. Yes, sir. Hog fat, but I tell you what, this little jip, she stays busy. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Hi, Mama. Old Briar Country guys, I haven't showed you guys Briar Country in a while, but she's grown up. She has grown up. I'm Kylie. I'm gonna solo this dog and run her probably twice a day until uh, I trim all that fat off of her. And she will be bred to Anderson's Black Bart, Mr. Pete, who is off of uh, field champion birthday Pretty Boy 2. And Anderson's pretty girl rock. Find him. Kylie is off a of field champion, the Cooper Lake Cowboy. And uh, field champion and national large pack champion, uh, Southwoods Bala. Find him. Of course, Bala was a pretty boy bitch. Bring back to Cyclone. Uh, this dog's mother is a litter mate, sister to uh, field champion, meets him bad to the bone. Find him, uh, find him, Kylie. Find him. She's a busy little female. Good girl, come on. Got that blue eye. Don't let that stuff bother you guys. That's not a genetic default in the sense of uh, incest so heavy that that's, that's what's wrong there, no. Find him. Find him, mama. Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Get in there. Find him. First day running, man. Find him, mama. Get back with you when we get a rabbit up. Find him. Find him, mama. What's going on, guys? Tyson Anderson, Mr. Hammerdown. Listen, guys, Southwoods Kylie. Kylie's going to be off of field champion Cooper Lake Cowboy, who is off of Southwoods Spike, and field champion Southwoods Brittany. Uh, Spike, I think, was actually a near field champion who was directly off of field champion Burst Lake Powell and Southwoods Hazel. Powell was off of Burst Lake Lucky, who was the son of Texas T, uh, and uh, his mother was Burst Lake uh, Freckles Two, who was directly off of field champion Packland Blackjack and Meacham's China Girl. Uh, Southwoods Hazel, Spike's mother, was off of Meacham's Sport Flash and Meacham's Hazel. Sport Flash was directly off of international field champion. Uh, Maravich Blue Ninja and Meacham's China Girl and uh, Meacham's Hazel was directly off of Meacham's Tyrone and Meacham's Wilson's Chief. Uh, Cowboy's mother was field champion Southwoods Brittany who was off of Southwoods Big Buck and Meacham's Blue Satin. Satin was directly off of uh, Sport Flash who again was off of Ninja and Southwoods Big Buck was directly off of Ninja. All right her uh, Kylie's mother National large pack champion and field champion Southwoods Bala uh, was directly off of field champion Burst Lake Pretty Boy 2 and field champion Southwood Cyclone, which produced, um, you know, several field champions. I forgot how many for Jake and those guys, but uh, with Jake and his father. But um, uh, I do know that uh, Bala was also the litter mate sister to field champion Meacham's Bad to the Bone. Pretty Boy is off of field champion Burst Lake Jumper, who was directly out of Powell. And uh, uh, Jumper was bred to field champion Burst Lake Diamond, who was directly out of Hector. And um, uh, field champion Lucy Hill Candy. Candy was out of out of Lucky. Lucky was out of Texas T. Diamond was also the half-sister to uh, Riverland Hercules. 
Okay, field champion Southwood Cyclone was directly out of Southwood Spike again, or near field champion Southwood Spike, and field champion Southwood's Brittany. Uh, Spike was directly out of Powell again, Southwood's Hazel. Brittany was directly out of Southwood's Big Buck and Meacham's Blue Sad. So basically, this, these pedigrees are, are essentially the exact same uh, pedigree. I mean, that's that's really what's going on here. It's actually a heck of a cross that Jake did, and I commend him for doing that. Because you don't see a lot of guys that field trial, and I, I believe in giving people their roses. I don't care how much a person uh, they aren't uh, exactly best friends or uh, or this or that. You know, if a person does a good breed uh, breeding, I, I I salute those people. I give them their roses while they're alive. This is a heck of a cross that he's done, and I'm not saying that just because the the gentleman that bought her is deciding to breed her back to uh, Anderson's Black Bart. I'm I'm saying that because. She's bred very well, um, especially if you like those lines of dogs. But I like her because the solicitation that he did is one that could also it can produce, um, it can produce the uh, uh, performance type of dog. Uh, I wouldn't say exactly hybrid vigor. It could be that, it, or it is that, but it's intense hybrid vigor because it's uh, it's methodical in its solicitation as far as the concentration of ninja of uh doubling up on the paycheck the pieces of paycheck that is in there but mainly birch lake and maverick blue ninja that was pretty smart of jake to do that and he's, he's running his and doubling up and tripling up on his own line of dog him and his, his father's own line of dogs so I, I thought that was very smart a lot of the best of meacham's dogs are, are in you know and behind this female in doing that she did end up getting the blue eye but that does not affect the running. That does not mean that she will throw that. Um, I said that before, and I'll say that uh, you know, again. If she happens to have a pup that has the off-colored eye, you will never see those puppies. They will not be uh, made available. Again, this is not my female. She belongs to a buddy of mine in upstate Pennsylvania. Uh, we go back and forth. He's the same gentleman who purchased uh, field champion Cadillac guy. He he really likes big females, but I think I, I know where he's going with this. Pete is a, uh, is a full 15-inch male, right? He's about 14, three-quarters right now, but he's he's still growing. So he's going to be a full 15-inch male. Um, Kylie, from what I've seen, I've had her here for about, you know, uh, two days now or a few days, about two or three days now, and um, I've got a chance to really deal with her. Um, I mean – is she going to go out here and win the Nationals right now today? Absolutely not. You know, dogs hog fat. She's completely out of shape. One thing I can say is this. She hunts good. She has a big nose. Um, if she's not ran up, she will pop off early and a few times, okay? Um, when the rabbit is up and hot, she can absolutely run the fire out of a rabbit. I mean, she can run the fire out of a rabbit. And I'm going to have her dialed in. So the picture you're looking at right now is one of her out of shape, not being ran in a long time. I don't know the time or length of time, but I do know here she will be ran. And I will trim all of that excess off of her um, or excess, excuse me, off of her. Um, she's a leggy little female to be as small as she is. If I had to guess uh, I would say Kylie is probably about a 13 and a half inch dog, 13 and three quarters. She's definitely not a 15 inch dog. She's definitely not a 13 inch dog in my eyes. Maybe it's to someone else, but to me, I, she's not. Um, uh, what else? Uh, very, uh, mild tempered female. She's not really like an intense bite the wire, tear the chain off uh, out of the ground type of female, you know, tear your kennel down. She's not that type of dog. Uh, that doesn't really make any noise in the kennel. Um, she won't use the bathroom in the crate. I mean, just seems to be a, a, a sensible dog. You know, she needs to be pretty sensible. She's always busy. And that's why I choose to make the little skits that I did of her, because I just want to show you a little bit about her. Uh, in the beginning, um, that was her that had actually took off on a rabbit. Rabbit was sitting actually behind her. She stepped right behind, right in front of the rabbit and the rabbit took off. And I was unable to catch that on video. The rabbit took off. She caught out the corner of her eye and she took off, you know. And um, so it was a semi uh, sight race for about the first three or four seconds. The rabbit darted off into some thick brush outside of the edge of those open woods. And uh, she started pursuing them through that brush. 
But uh, I, I'm going to give you some videos in the, in the very near future. I'll be soloing her a decent bit um, as I'm soloing a and Double Up Boomer. Like I said, I don't want to show him right now. You've seen a picture of him, what he looks like. I'm going to really trim this off of her and get her pretty hard um, as if she was going to a competition or something before she comes to heat because I just believe in having a dog in the best um, uh you know, I want to I want to help. I want to do as much as I can, you know, so um, to, to make sure that she's in tip top shape. And I just like to have dogs in shape when they come here. You know, I don't like them to be more than a pound, two pounds over what they should be. OK, so that's her breeding. And uh, of course, you already know Anderson's black bar. Here he is right here. This is him um, the day that I picked him up from the, the gentleman uh, that started him, Mr. Keith Loudermilt who actually had the dog uh, uh, horn, and I can't think of his full registered name. He's won the Nationals like two or three times. Um, you know, uh, with with that male, he's, he's uh, I think, ran for a buddy of his, and he actually won a couple of the national championships in the Midwest. Um, Mr. Keith knows a lot about dogs, and he's told me, you know, everything I needed to know about Pete at the time of picking him up. Listen, I believe that this is going to be a very nice cross, honestly, because he had the opportunity of breeding back to Hall Branch, Hall Branch Playboy. You know, I told him about my buddy having Playboy here at the time because he was an adult dog and people still young, and he still is young. Um, he'll be a, a he'll be 13 months the 28th of this month. Pete will. Um, he went ahead and purchased field champion Cadillac guy, and he asked me what I thought. I said, I think that would be too much of the same stuff right there. You're resoliciting too much of the same exact stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, because Guy's mother is uh, is the uh, uh, Meacham's pretty black female. So, you know, excuse me, I thought that would be you know a, light, a right much bit of the same Birch Lake, same Blue Ninja, same paycheck, back to back to back to back to back like that. Don't get me wrong, that would be good foundational breedings. But when you get to doing it like that, you know, you got to sort of look at it and say, okay, what am I doing? I told him I think you would be good putting a little piece of Birch Lake back over into there with the two outcrosses on the bottom that are very distant of what those dogs are, you know, um, or at least the, the grampy part of, 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 of um, uh, Bart, right, of, of Pete. So Pete is directly off of field champion Birch Lake Pretty Boy 2. So, of course, you have that same thing resonating there. I, you know, I've already read what he is. Pretty Boy 2 is is uh, 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 Birch Lake Powell and Birch Lake Diamond, um, as you already know. And uh, uh, Diamond, again, is off field champion Birch Lake Hector. And field champion Lucy Hill Candy. Candy's off of Lucky. Lucky's a son of uh, um, a Texas T. And then uh, Jumper's daddy is Pal again. And is off of Lucky and Lucky's off of T. Okay, Anderson's Pretty Girl Rock is off of near field champion Eagle Creek Otruba Collins, um, which is probably one of the purest Grampy dogs in the country. He's a good dog, solid dog, hunts really good, medium fast. Um, I mean, you're not going to go and win the Nationals with him. You're not going to, you know, maybe a good good day, you know, bad sitting day it could be his day, you know, but he's not a heads up, rolls to the wall dog. He's not that at all. He's a solid rabbit dog. He keeps the rabbit running. And I knew that before I bred to him. Nobody even really knew who the dog was before I bred to him. You know, a handful of people did, but the grassroots country or, or whatever, m m uh, majority of people were dumbfounded. They didn't know who he, were, who he was. And um, I like to breed the dogs that people don't know who they are. Of course, they know who Pretty Boy is, but they didn't know who he was. Okay, I bred him back to my, my pure Sakatumi female, Anderson Southern Pride, who is directly off of... Um, uh, good Time Slow Down Buddy and Hatfield Sing Along Katie. Katie is directly off of Good Time Southern Pride, who was a double uh, soccer to me grandson. And uh, her mother was Bear Mountain to me princess, which was a um, daughter of soccer to me, bred back to a granddaughter of uh, East Coast Tremor. OK, um, on the top, Buddy is directly off of Good Time Southern Pride, being uh, making him the half mate to Katie my pride dog's mother, okay, and his mother was a female named Good Times Touch of Black, who was directly off of Nuke Country Gambler, who was also a double grandson to Sock It To Me, right, and uh, just all kind of good things flowing behind him, so a heavy Sock It To Me female bred back to a heavy grampy male that produced Pretty Girl Rock, right, and Rock was bred to Birch, uh, of, uh, Birch Lake Pretty Boy 2, 
being, uh, I think, a 32 or 33 percent Birch Lake male with that piece of Grampy in there. So uh, that came through him, through Diamond, right? Diamond through Hector. All right. Um, so I resolicited the heavy Grampy right there. Boom. Coming in through Pretty Good Rock. And then on the bottom, the heavy socket to me. Bam. That's the twist on this cross right here, guys. And that cr that twist right there is more than enough to make you know, make things shake up. So here's a picture to speed it up a little bit. Here's a picture of Black Bart, you know, uh, just being fed. I just got through running him. Uh, he, I just fed him. I was starting to really hone in on him, right? So the, the still had a little bit of weight on him, but it, it hadn't really began to lean him out yet. Here's another picture of him about a month later after I began to really dial him in, right? Here's the, this is the picture of him right here. And so he looks even better. He's twice as good looking as this. His head is filled out. I have not got a recent picture of him. Um, that's totally my fault. His hindquarters are way bigger than that. His chest is way thicker than that. His legs are still long and slender like that, but it's just so much muscle tone. Throughout his rib cage and right there around that uh, center part right before you get to the uh, – manhood right above the manhood and before the hind quarter that little waist right there is so tight and rock hard he's got a little ridge down the middle of his back as if it's like a bodybuilder separation i mean his dog is really put together he's got a head full of sense he hunts intense very intense he's a i mean he's so sharp and snappy and that's what i think she's needing he's so so sharp and snappy on the hunt and in the check it's unbelievable, and his blowout power is 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 just is ridiculous. He's got a great big screaming mouth, raw, raw, and then he'll raw, raw, raw. I mean, he just it's it's amazing. Uh, and got a, he's got a good nose. I think her nose is a little better than his, though. You know, um, but he's so accurate. He will not open his mouth if that's not the rabbit. When he opens his mouth one time. That's the rabbit. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If he goes out blowing, the rabbit is on the move, and you can get your gun ready because Pete is hammering this joker. Okay? Um, just and, and foot speed, you know, Kylie's is, is probably, she's probably about a seven and a half on foot speed. You know, me guesstimating right now, she's probably going to be a strong upper medium fast dog at the max. Not going to go and win the Nationals or anything, you know, heads up, like I said, banging and all that, but Pete has has the foot that can separate the men from the boys. I mean, he he he's got what I used to call a, a 25th hour. You know what I mean? Uh he he's got that he's got that extra piece, you know, that a lot of guys wish they their dogs had. He has it. And a lot of his litter mates have it as well. Um uh from Rufus's Showtime Hurricane to Rufus's um Showtime Robin, uh Sissy, Anderson Broad Country Jackie, she's about the same type of foot speed as Kylie. Uh, but, um, you know, just a line running machine, you know, she's got good hunt. Th these dogs are showing to be consistent is what I'm saying. So, uh, this dog's owner who wanted to remain anonymous, he told me, he said, listen, I just want a really nice size female and I want you to keep her and keep her till she's about 10 months, 11 months old. And I want you to get her totally turnkey. You know, you start her, you break her, you Breaker on handling, you crate breaker, all of those things. You bring this female back to me and we'll work something out on everything else. So in me keeping a dog here, like to do all of that uh, from keeping the litter, raising the litter, taking them to the vet, all of their shots, all of that up to eight to 10 weeks before they're, they're ready to go. You know, that's not cheap. Then to keep one dog out of those and treat it as if it's mine for 10 months to a year. You know, you guys, come on, add that up. You know, to, to train a dog is $300 here a month for me. To do something like that, you're talking $400 a month. And then you're talking 10 months, that's $4,000, okay? Uh, if you want to say the 300 part, that's that's $3,000. But this, it will, I don't do that for, for $300. That'll be about four grand, right? And and then you're talking about all the that with the litter. So I think his proposition was, was more than relevant and more than enough. So I'm actually going to be delegating how this litter works out. All the paperwork is going to be in his name. I will have papers in hand when the puppies are ready to go. They will be uh, on puppy, uh, uh, the litter application, they will be on that right then, right? Or the puppy registration, they'll be on that right then with little codes at the bottom, right? So in hand, you will receive that along with everything that the dogs have um, 
received as far as vaccinations, the food I've had them on, everything, the antibiotic, all of that stuff, right? Booster shots, all everything that they've had, you will have that at the, at the time. So two of these dogs are already reserved. One, a guy is already well, the owner of the female, right? He gets the first pick of this of the litter, the nicest female, and he wants me to pick her uh, of you know, according to how I would pick if it was my litter, right? So hypothetically, he wants me to go in and channel it in like, hey, okay, this is your dog. This is what you would have and, and breed for yourself. Pick accordingly and, and raise and run and develop accordingly. And that's what I'm going to do. That costs, okay? Um, so that's one of the females. The second female, a gentleman is already reserved from the, the furthest western part of Tennessee. I'm going to keep him anonymous as well. He's going to get the smallest female in this in this cross because he wants a 13 inch female bred like this. OK, so two of these females are already reserved. Whatever is available outside of that will be for sale. Every last one of them will be for sale. If hear me, you want to be on the list, there will be a deposit. OK, it won't be anything ridiculous, and um, these pups aren't mine, so I'm treating them as if, as if they're mine, but they will not be priced the same because this is not but half of my breeding. So uh, it being that Bart is my, my breeding, right? The bottom being Kylie is not my breeding except the burst leg. I love that, that, and that's not mine. It's just what I'm breeding as well now. So uh, if you want to get on the list, the best way to do so is reach out to me by email, Anderson's Beagles, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N-S-B-E-A-G-L-E-S, 2010, that's 2010 at gmail.com, guys. Or you can reach me on my temporary number right now. Uh, it's uh, area code 910-289-4508. Again, that number is area code 910 910- Two eight nine four five zero eight. Listen, for those that that know me, really know me, and have dealt with me, I listen. Please call and ask all the questions you want, but at least be serious. Know that these dogs are not two or three hundred dollars. They're not four hundred, five hundred dollar dogs. They're they're just not okay. Birch Lake Pretty Boy Two is dead. They won't be a thousand, twelve hundred, anything crazy. But they're not four or five hundred dollar dogs. They're not a thousand dollar dog. So just call. We'll work over details. I mean, you know, I want to make sure that you're serious and I want you to call to know what the price is. Yes, guys say, oh, Tyson, you sell dogs for big money. You sell this, you sell that. Listen, I sell dogs for two things, what they're worth and the time that I put in them. My time is valuable. Right. And there's not a price. Your time is valuable. I'm not saying it like I'm better than any of you guys. Your time is valuable. And some of you guys need to start charging for your time. If you put time in a dog, you can't just sell that dog for what it's worth. What about the time you put in it? All that cost. If you had to go to 100 trials, if you had to spend nights at hotels, if you had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and run this dog three or four hours you know, in the morning, four or five hours in the evening, a total of eight hours, six, seven, eight hours a day, right? And you did that for three years. I mean, you know, are you going to turn around and sell that dog for 1500 bucks? You're crazy if you do. I mean, especially if the dog is good. So... Think about that, guys. Uh, Anderson's Black Bart will be bred right back to Southwoods Kylie. This cross, we're literally waiting for her to come in heat any day now. She's really starting to even puff up back there. And I've, I've got another male that, as a matter of fact, that meets with deplorable male, uh, John Gotti. I've been actually having him play around with her in, my, in the backyard. It's fenced in. We've been having her play around with him. He's been smelling her and licking. So she's acting like uh, or seeming as if she's getting ready. So we hope so. Guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Go ahead and get you a good pup out of this cross. I think they're going to be really built built e- immaculately. Um, so, yes, sir. If you're just a gun hunter, hey, listen, get, get might as well get some really good stock in your kennel. If you're looking to trial, I think these dogs are going to have some good foot. They'll be at least solid, solid, medium, fast, upper, medium, fast dogs, and they could be as much as too fast. So, uh, you got my information there, Anderson's Beagles 2010 at gmail.com. We can reach me at the temporary number 910 is the area code 238 4508. Tyson Anderson, Mr. Hammerdown, we'll see you when we see you. <laughs>